Opening up hammer, let's get down to business. This is the map from last time. We got the guy standing in the middle. Not very exciting. So, um, I'm going to freshen things up a bit and teach you about lighting. So, I'm just going to add some stuff in the corners of the room and make it look nicer. So, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I um, went back and I made a crap ton of stuff here. Every one of those is, these are all together. These are separated because there's this little texture that would overlap in the middle of these panes. And um, it would make me mad because I don't like the overlapping textures. And that took me about an hour. Um, so then I just added these crappy looking columns in. I'll probably work on this later. I'll also teach you how to do the different shapes um, later on. I also made these stairs. As you can see, these stairs are um, the good stairs that aren't just slabs. Um, if they're slabs, it causes a lot of unwanted textures. Uh, and then the player clip on top makes it so you go nice and smooth down the stairs. Uh, but that's not what we're going to worry about. That's just to make it look pretty and make my render time go to crap. So um, what we're going to do is... Uh, going to go up here we're going to make a big block um, and we're going to make our texture we're going to search skybox and we're going to um, I think it's at the very bottom of skybox do not use anything that looks like these don't look don't use any of those that aren't actually skyboxes and I messed up The reason why is it'll just be a gigantic texture. You don't want a giant texture. You want an actual skybox instead of a crappy looking one. Um, and then we're going to make a block. And this block is probably going to be pretty big, so uh, you're most likely going to want to increase your grid size. Um, you can actually make this just go entire around your entire map, but I'm not going to do that. Um, it's lagging. If you make it go around your entire map, then like if you fall off the side, you'll still see the skybox. But since this is an interior map, we don't want to do that. We just want to make it in the necessary parts, which will be up here. So we could just see sky up there and make it look like, oh, we're actually in a building instead of just some closed off space. So drag that up like so. It actually doesn't matter how large your skybox is. Um, but you're probably going to make, just want to make it like this so I can add some stuff out here if I need to anyways. Um, so there's our skybox. Um, if you're not, if, if you're making a skybox around the whole map, make sure to make it hollow so they don't spawn inside of a giant block. I'm going to do this anyways and then delete the bottom floor because I want there to be room in here. So this looks good. Um... Actually, we just go down a little more. So decrease our grid size. There's a lot of stuff I need to show you here. Um, <clears throat> okay. And this is what the skybox texture looks like. We're going to make it hollow real quick. So, delete that. And... <clears throat> Might have problems here. Yeah, we are. We are going to have problems. Let me fix this up real quick. Uh, it's just a little bit uneven. We gotta fix it. Okay, so I got that all fixed up. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to go to our entities and we're going to go down and scroll down till we find light underscore environment. And we're going to place it in the corner of the map somewhere, somewhere it's not really in your way. Well, it's not going to make a difference because you don't see it when it's in game. Um, and then we're also going to go back to our entity tool and go to env underscore sun and place that probably right next to it. You want to keep the lighting elements near each other. And then um, we're going to want to go to a website uh, where it'll show you the list of skyboxes and ideal um, stuff for them. So uh, just Google search uh, Skylist or um, uh, uh, Source Skylist or something like that, 
and it should be the one here at developer.valvesoftware.com and you're going to find the one you want and make sure it is under the CSS section because if it's not it won't show up in game and you're going to get an error so I found one that I like called militia underscore HDR so it's high definition resolution and we're going to go to a map and map properties and then we're going to go down to skybox texture name and you're going to copy and paste that in there and hit apply now we actually have to make the lighting so we're going to start with the sun and we're going to go to the pitch in this case the ideal sun pitch for mine was negative sixty and you're going to say use angles yes and then you're going to go back to the website copy the ideal sun angle and paste that in the pitch yaw and roll and it will work fine then you go to double click your light underscore environment and you're going to change the pitch to the same as this ideal sun uh, the lower the number the more dramatic the shadows are going to be uh, so just just uh, gonna let you in on that in case you want to make some super dramatic shadows you can also make more dramatic shadows by increasing the um, what's it called light map stuff so go to your brightness copy the ideal brightness and go to ambient and copy the ideal ambient oops that was almost bad make sure you don't leave anything out there or it's going to screw you up and then we're going to go ahead and put the same ones in for the HDR since mine is HDR then you're just going to apply and we're basically done you can go in game and test it and see how it turns out see you in game okay so we are in game are you ready to witness what how much better it looks if you have um, environmental lighting check out the shadows the windows all have the panes all have lighting uh, I might change the texture of these though just because um, they're a little bit too see-through um, I was hoping for more of a window look instead of like no glass at all look um, there's our Sun I guess it does work in Gary's mod and it, you could see a difference if you're inside or outside just kinda cool um, outside there's not much to look at there's the skybox the one that I looked at the militia HDR um, shadows there's the columns um, all in all it looks way better uh, oh yeah I gotta brag about these stairs too so check this out oh yeah you run up those without your head bobbing really smooth okay um, this concludes this tutorial uh, subscribe rate comment do whatever hate on me <laughs> um, if you want more tutorials favorite this video so I know that you do and I'll talk to you guys in a little while I don't know how long a little while is um, in case you're interested I also hit 50 subscribers so I'm probably gonna do some special thing for that